morning folks um, painting the lights well I've never really understood what painting the light is it's something that you that, as far as I can see develops over 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 time uh, but I'm only talking about landscapes that's all I do I have done still life and loads of Venice paintings in the past but uh, this is what I'm stuck on now uh, so all I can say really is this one looks like it's uh, painting the light but it's mainly because of the glazing over the, the previous colour or pigment so let's just go through some of these here it's in my small pad uh, that one probably the skies are all these clouds are a bit too obvious there but but it's just this haziness that you can get with acrylic it's a bit harder with oil because you because it moves but this is all glazing over dry paint made mostly so whether that's a, the light I don't, I, I don't really know it's just something that develops as you go along that one doesn't really show the light if I put a, a thin glaze of, uh, of white with a bit of colour in it that would go uh, much lighter than that and that could be said to to be uh, in the light that one not quite that one more or less getting there I do like painting on this this stuff this uh, part cartridge paper not there really but it's definitely there but I've, I've taken the light through the painting here I have done this one in oil, which you know that you've seen. Uh, that one, yeah, that's got a bit of light. Whatever that means, I, I really don't know. That one, definitely. Take the light through there. It's, uh, it's just the haziness, I think. I think Turner, look, Turner's, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying I, I paint like Turner or anywhere near, but uh, he used a lot of glazing, although he didn't have acrylics. It's much easier with the critic, I think. And he uh, he managed it by uh, adding glazes to to the to the the painting. It becomes less distinct. Maybe that's what the light is. Less distinct. Let's see another one. Uh, that one is for colourful. That one. But I, I, I really do enjoy enjoy doing doing these. Now, as you know, I, I don't usually have an idea in my head. I just wet the brush, stick it in the paint, and just make some marks, and then try to obliterate, obliterate the marks later. I've had to anchor my pad to this my painting board, um, so it doesn't slide further down the. Wall. Down, the, down. I've, I've put masking tape at the bottom of, of this onto, uh, let's have another bit. No, I'll put it, put it on there so you won't see that when, when I remove the masking tape. So there we are, that should hopefully be enough. Uh, brushes, uh, I'm going to use this one, it's not as worn out as the other one. That's the really worn out one. Uh, still getting good service though. You don't need to buy expensive brushes for this sort of stuff like these. Those two were about thirty pounds. That's far too expensive. But I didn't see the price, the, the range where I bought them from. Um, I had them in a tray, so I, I was a bit blasé and I just grabbed them. But that's a very good good brush. This this one here. There we are. That's a great big sort of a moppy sort of brush uh, this one's a sort of a, a attempt at making a hake by it's not by me uh, but I find that, that with this acrylic and the size that I'm painting these brushes are more than adequate it's an inch pro art series 22 hog varnish brush uh, so let's have a go at painting the light now um, could do a bit of a beach scene. We'll try, try that. Um, let's get some uh, some foreground in. Oh, 
situation. Quite low. Okay, that's all we need to do. This here will just represent later. It's a bit of a bit of landscape, a bit of a looking over a cliff to the distance. Okay, so let's clean the brush again. Right, I need to give it another bit of a cut of toweling up, a bit of toweling up. Yesterday, and I got all these lovely bits of towel to take the paint out of my brush. Right, uh, let's have a bit of a no realism. I, I'm not aiming for realism anyway, I'm aiming for an effect. Try to capture the light without realising it. That's, uh, we're going to use a lot of, quite a bit of white on this one, so we'll squeeze some more. I bought these tubes from the from Hobbycraft. I don't know if that. Uh, it's a, it's a quite a large store nearby, um, which is knocking these out for a couple of pounds. 120 mil tubes, which are a good value. I mean, good value and painting don't, don't really go together, do they? Because we know what part materials are expensive. Right, now then, a uh, bit, of, bit of water on the brush, a bit of blue. Oh, let's just scrub away. Go up to the uh, masking tape. I'll have to uh, squeeze out some more. I was looking at the sky this morning, and it's very warm in London at the moment. I don't know about the rest of the country, but we're in the midst of a heat wave by our standards. Uh, but uh, forecasting could be. Uh, up to 40 degrees centigrade over the weekend. Anyway, I looked at the sky and it's very streaky. It's a sort of thin cloud that was quite, you know, well, we'll just do something that replicates it. So I'm not making the sky up so much as just painting what, what I remember. Uh, okay, that down there. So we've got an amber warning and they've extended it. So we, we always moan at the, about the weather in, in the UK. Because we're an island, we get a lot of weather. With the, uh, uh, and it's always a topic of conversation. First thing we say, of oh, it's cold today. But during this uh, lovely weather, it is lovely weather. It's not so good for my cat, he tries to find some, some shade, but, but uh, well, here we are, we've got a nice sky there. Now I've got to be careful, the, the yellow ochre I'm using is very strong, it's an artist, it's a student quality, it's a, the graduate range, which is Dale Rowley, but, you, but the little goes a long way, because I want whitey clouds, but creamy clouds, We'll let that dry for a minute, we'll just go into that headland there. So we'll go into the into the blue. We can glaze over it. that I can change this any time I like but I'm just working out what would be a good good colour to do do that cliff. Uh, with cliffs you've got various uh, the palette I'm using 
It's a stay wet. It's a Masterson stay wet palette, <coughs> which I've had for about 35 years. It's it's never let me down. It's got a. a they do supply a a, a a a sponge, thin sponge membrane to go underneath this membrane. Not membrane, a, a, like a pad that you soak with water and it keeps the paint moist. Not indefinitely, indefinitely though. Um, and it, it, as, it, as it gets wet, and the, it spreads. It opens up to, to the size of the box. It's lovely, but it's very prone to, to rotting, the, the sponge, because if you leave it for a few days, it will. Unless you use a bit of ammonia, maybe, you know, in the water, just sprinkle it on. Uh, but the membranes I buy in packs of 25, I think, they're not cheap, but they are superb. I've used other palettes, but uh, nothing compares to this one. It's, it's, it's American, it's very robust. In that, and it's got these uh, these bits here that keep the membrane anchored, and and these smaller ones stop the. If you tip it upside down, it, it will stay upside down. The paint won't move. Absolutely brilliant. At the times I've I've opened and shut this thing, you can see it's getting a bit bit wobbly. But it's absolutely lovely. Masterson, a stay wet palette. I don't get any any commission for saying that, but uh, but I just pass on the information to you. And they're, they're, I'm sure they're still available. <coughs> it was sort of linked up with uh, um, a company that made um, acrylic paints, but would dilute far more than the ordinary acrylic if you use it as a watercolour. It was quite, quite amazing. Um, a bit of sand, a bit of sand colour. And we'll have a bit of, a bit of, a bit of yellow. Move over with that. I will come down with a green, greenish cliff. Okay, so I can add some sandy colour. Bottom here, just a so a bit of shadow in there. Just give an impression of a uh... right. We'll build up as we go. I'll put a bit of sea in. Uh, sea is going to be a bluey green, a bluey. Green, good yellow ochre, bit of ultramarine will give you quite a reasonable sea colour. Spread it around a bit so you can glaze over it, that's a bit too uh, that's, that's better colour. And put some white and white to wavy things there. Right, uh, a bit of a sandy colour in here. Have a little finger brush. Thank you. 
Right, okay, well that's a, a bit of a start. Now let's do some sky now. <coughs> Sorry about that yellow ochre, but we don't want it. Oh, that is just a tint. But it's still too yellow. But we can just keep going over it till we get what we think is a, a reasonable looking sky. But don't labour. But I work fast. Now, you don't have to work as fast as, as this. I've done a lot of it, so I do have a bit of an advantage. A lot of, a lot of practice. And go over that blue so that it all sort of complements each other a bit. Yeah, I'm glazing over the, uh, the sea as well. Just glaze over over that background, and you can see how how the light changes the whole the whole uh, look of it. It looks misty, misty. Is that the light? I don't know. Uh, right, let's uh, get some green sward. So nice green. Now we've got a bit of bit of a mauvey colour. Well I've got about a bit of paint grey paint that in. Let's just beef up that uh, horizon, I think. When you first start painting, it's, uh, it's a real da daunting undertaking. A bit of bit of white, white surf. Now that's got to be darker there. Those rocks. I 
Mm, I've lost it there. Up here. It's a bit better now, but they're still too, too hard edged. We don't want hard edges. But we can go over that, as we did with the C. Uh, well, this We want some hard edge, well hard, not hard edge, but hard dark paints, paints in in here because you've got rocks and things, and we want to be able to counter change. Uh, sorry, I forget what I said. I'm going to create an impression of of rocks and sand, hills. Oh, now we want a nice bit of bit of white. They're always nice against dark. Right, we'll let that go for a minute. Go back over that. Oh, it's a little bit of foreground. Right, so let's go a bit of ochre, a bit of red, a bit of green, a bit of white. Just bang it in. It's a nice green now, a bit of Payne's grey. And there. Come up there. Now there's going to be a clash there between two similar tones. So we'll just get that on, then we'll just let it dry a bit and then we can Go and add some nice colour to that. I get a nice bit of green. No, I don't use uh, ready made greens. So, if we have light, light on the top of that, we can have dark behind it, dark shadowy grey. Let's get that in there. Bit darker in there. We can add some bright greens on that. But the white mixes with this cad yellow brilliantly. You know we're getting counter change now. Oh, 
Right. Uh, we'll go back to that through the through this sky now. <coughs> Look, maybe just reducing, reducing that. green on here just creating an impression no detail to speak of it's just going over what you've done but with a lighter color but this is just too too white I mean too uh, yellow But the, the paint's drying very, very quickly today. Oh, it has all week with this uh, lovely weather. Well, it is lovely weather. But it might not be by the weekend. It might go up to 40 degrees and then we won't be able to paint or do anything. Reduce that a little bit. And some of that. Uh, so we're getting a bit of bit of sky. Now we're getting some light in there. Uh, now I just so I'm going to carry on with that. Just fill those holes in a little bit and then we can probably put in a few light, very light bits of blue. You can always use a uh, painting knife.
Turn my hand back on there. Just try to just get a decent colour for for that horizon. Now I've lost it. You need a bit of dark in that sea. So that we can get some white. Right now we're just a bit of a bit of white along. The red is extremely uh, strong. They're, art they're not artist quotes, is it? So a lot of them came from Rucos when they used to sell it, but they sort of reduced their range and the size of the tubes and put the prices up. Uh, ah, interesting. Just pushing the paint around here. Bit of white. Alright, let's uh, put some darker blues in here just to reflect. Of that sky. Now, once you darken in there a little bit, just a bit of blue and a bit of paint grey. Light yellow. Uh, there. Now, do this bit here now. I'm just going to put a bit more paint, but I won't 
go over the old stuff because that's just drying as fast as I'm looking at it. Uh, maybe no. Bit of white. Still got a bit of this to fill in, but I want to make something of that sky. But at the moment, I don't know what I'm sort of working around it. And I don't care how long this one takes to uh, download. But it seems to be recording in well, high, high definition. It's taken ages to, to upload. Put in some, let's put some shadow colour in there, and we can put some uh, some flowers in there. Just uh, restart it again. Hmm. Do I have there? Anyway, <coughs> so it's a bit of a. Oh, it's come back. I've got to, I've got to put a couple of figures in this. Now that just about contrasts with the background. But, uh, it's just Ooh, don't mind that. bit too far down with that. I might have to use just a, a little brush here just to tidy it up a bit. Defeats the object right. But, uh, ah oh, I can go over that. No, that's a disaster.
I'll refine, I'll refine that bit um, with a little quarter inch flat though. Oh, let's just add a bit of that to lovely white and yellow. Bit of, bit of uh, sort of grassy stuff. Just gently touch it. Right, uh, I think I need to have a little think about what I'm doing here. I wish I had a cup of tea now. My wife's gone out to get some eggs. Mm. Alright, let's get back into that sky. Cost me brush now. I am. I'm not so, so brilliant at doing a <coughs> water because I have, I'm sort of landlocked so I don't get to the coast very often. So I just work from sort of memory to make it up. Oh, 
Actually, just try, try go over that. Gotta try go over that in a minute. Let's try. No, let's try get a bit of bit of blue in there now. Some ocean marine out. A big tube. Still not so good there. Oh, I think we can put a figure or two in there. And if it doesn't work, I can always just paint over it. Uh, so, uh, go up some jeans. Oh, there's one figure. Uh, 
the feet go up but the head stays the same sort of thing. So let's have a bit of red there. Is a bit too big there. This is. Mm. Oh, okay, now there are lots of wild flowers on the on the the coast, so uh, get our brush and just get a few, few uh, bits of that. Oh, I'll have a bit of it Very yellow. Not dandelions, but the pretty flowers that you get on this sort of Cornish coast. Right, okay, well, I don't think I want to do much more than that. I'll try to get, get the tape off, clean the brush though. Don't forget to clean your brushes at all times with acrylic. I suppose it's tried, you've had it. <coughs> right, okay, let's uh, move that out of the way. Let's take those bits of tape off. Starting to tear the paper. Uh, right now, I'm, so keep your. Uh, how long does it take? Uh, 54 minutes. Well, I'll pause it. Oops, there we are. Move that up a bit. Right, that's the mount because I am. Because you don't need to cut a now for these sort of pictures. Yet. Uh, I quite enjoy doing that. The, the difficult thing was this, the sea, so I've just put a bit of white in. Uh, can, can white pencil, white watercolour colour, that's... Right, okay, that's about... Right, okay, leave that. So I hope you like that one, folks. Now, I don't know whether that's got the light or whether it hasn't, but all this is indistinct. The only bit of uh, <coughs> solid stuff are the two figures. But you could uh, just carefully just uh, drag over them. Now they're dry, they dry so quick. So it's a little bit of, bit of white and a little bit of... Well, that's reduced them a little bit. 
I think the sky's turned out quite well. It's the sun, I saw the sky I saw this morning. It was sort of layered, and I, I love doing those skies. Now it's more defined. Right? So, anyway, there we are. That's uh, one for you. That's going to take ages to upload. Right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.